Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the new Steam family mode. So it has changed a little bit. It is a little bit better than it used to be, but there are some really important key points you need to take note of. So library sharing is only possible with accounts that are in the same store region. So basically linked by your card payment. So if you're in Australia and everyone else you're linking to is in Australia and they pay with an Australian card, you should be able to link no problem. If you have a country difference, it's not going to work for you. So far from what I've tested, it doesn't matter where you are in the country, it seems to work. So you can be in different cities. So far, no problems. But they do have a clause that this may change at some stage. Another thing is once you are connected to a family, it doesn't seem to matter where you're located in the world. So you can be in Australia and someone might be in Germany. If you're already connected, it seems to still work. However, again, they may change this at a later date. And we haven't yet been able to test what happens if you switch store locations. So if you originally start with a payment method in the same country, then switch. We're not sure if it boots you out of the family group. It's definitely something to keep an eye on because it's quite possible that will happen. And the last and most important thing here is that you can only join one family per year. So make sure you choose wisely. If you make a mistake and you want to switch to a different family, you've got to wait an entire 365 days or a full year, but you can rejoin the family you left. So that's still an option. And the last thing here, which is kind of dependent on some people is hidden games won't be shared. So if you have a stack of not safe for work games, your secret's safe. So now I'll show you how to set it up. So just go to Steam in the top left hand corner, then go to settings. Here change to the family option and then go create or join a Steam family. Here you've got two options. If you want to join a family, you need to get an invite from somebody else. So you can basically skip that option. Once you get the invite, you can accept and you'll be straight into a family. So to create a family, we're just going to call it games, something quick and easy. So once you've given your family a name, which was the previous step, You'll go to this screen here and you can basically just invite anyone from your list. So I'll just send out an invite and you've got two options. You can invite them as an adult or a child. Just pick the one that's suitable. So I'm just going to send an invite as an adult and it will just sit as invite pending until the other person accepts. That's pretty much all there is to the entire process. So if you want to kick anyone out or cancel an invite, you can just do it from the little arrows here. Just click cancel or remove and they'll be kicked out of your family. So you can have up to five people in your family. So yourself and five other people and it will pull all of your games. So everybody's games will be available to everybody. However, you can only play one game at a time if there's only one copy. However, if between the five people or the six of you, you have multiple copies, you'll be able to use those copies to play different games. However, for any games that are limited to one copy, only one person will be able to play it. And whoever actually owns the game gets priority. So if they start the game while you're already playing it, you'll get a couple of minutes to save and exit. Otherwise, you'll be booted. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this guide. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.